Here are some notes on peripartum cardiomyopathy. The risk factors for this disorder are maternal age over 30, multiple gestations, and preeclampsia or eclampsia during the pregnancy. Clinical features include left ventricular ejection fraction of less than 45%, and this disorder can happen from 36 weeks gestation up to five months postpartum. Then it's defined as peripartum cardiomyopathy when there are no other causes of heart failure. The management for peripartum cardiomyopathy, um, if the mom is still pregnant and she's hemodynamically unstable, you want to deliver immediately. If uh, she's post-pregnancy, you can do standard systolic heart failure regimen. You also want to include thromboembolism prophylaxis because, of course, pregnancy is a very thromboembolic state. The recurrence risk for peripartium cardiomyopathy increases if you have a left ventricular ejection fraction of less than 20 at diagnosis and if you have persistent left ventricular systolic dysfunction.